What's up everybody? Have you ever wanted to monitor a log file in real time on Windows? Yeah, in Linux you can use tail, which is uh, it's pretty simple to use uh, and uh, works very well. But in Windows, it's there's nothing I found that was uh, built in that that works. So, you know, you can do some PowerShell stuff or even command line stuff. And but in my testing it didn't work as well as what I'm going to show you here. So this one, there's a third-party utility out there called Tell for Win32. So I'm basically going to start from scratch. So you can just Google Tell for Win32, install it, and when you launch it, you're going to come up to something like this, just an empty workspace. Now in this scenario, which it worked uh, for me very well a few weeks ago when I transferred over a few hundred gigs from one computer to another computer. So I'm going to kind of I'm going to kind of simulate that same scenario, but just with a with my uh, pictures folder here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire pictures folder, which is 10 gigs from the server to my desktop here in this temp folder. And while doing that, um, I'm going to write a log file. So the way I'm going to copy the files over is using Robocopy. And within Robocopy, one of the uh, switches you can use is the switch log or forward slash log. So you can write a log and keep track of you know everything that's being copied over there, and you can at the end you can see if there's any errors or whatnot. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, write up my Robocopy command. So I'm going to Robocopy um, the pictures directory, which is you can see it's right here, the entire pictures directory to a um, to this computer here. So C Davis dash PC C dollar sign. Um, user c davis desktop and slash where are we at tmp okay so i'm just going to dump them all in there and um, a few switches here i'm going to include empty folders and everything and then i'm also going to mirror it just kind of a standard uh, some standard switches that i normally use um, for retries it's going to try one time and it's going to wait one second on each time so and then at the end here is where i'm going to create my log file and i'm just going to dump it right here in this uh, media folder and you'll see it be created um, and we're going to call it uh, robocopy.log and I'm going to I'm not going to I don't even have to start this yet I'm just going to go ahead and start the copy over so oops here we go now it's, it's right in the log files you can see right there it's copying over a bunch of pictures so I'm going to go ahead and minimize that let's go ahead and open this thing up I already did one here from, from before but I'm going to go ahead and open it up as if this is the first time. So I'm gonna, I want to open up this file that's that's on a different computer. So on this on the server, I'm gonna go stdc one, and I'm I know where it's at. So I'm gonna go media. Uh, no, actually, it's gonna be files media, and then uh, let's just open that. We're already here. Here's our log. Open up that, and then here you go. This is the live log. So and you can see the file. Okay, it's just copying over each pick and if you open the log right now you can see that's the actual log that's being written and this is just what it's showing uh, it's even going through the percentages and everything so tell for win 32 it's kind of handy if you want to monitor some live logs and um, is there something out there you guys like to use on windows uh, something different than tell for win 32 i know there's a ton of different things you can do here i i also heard that you can use notepad plus plus which i did try it and um, man, if I could just type here, there's a plugin you can use. And I don't think I, I thought I installed it here. Oh, document monitor. You can use this too, but it was very slow compared to this. It, it like was delayed too. It didn't have the same content showing at the same time. So um, I heard it was a little buggy. So I figured why not just use something that that's made for this purpose only. So. All right, there you go. Tell for 132.